any position in jiu-jitsu can become like a huge rabbit hole if you want it to. Uh, so like, I try to be as knowledgeable as I can be. One thing I also try to be as honest about my limitations and I try to do a little bit of myth busting here and there. I don't care who you are, I don't care how good a black belt you are. There's no way you can have a deep, deep level of expertise in every position. Uh, and trying to, like, there's a level of like shallowness where you're just like, going to be not very good at everything. Uh, which I think a lot of practitioners have. And there's a level of depth where you're going to be immensely good at a few things and not like, I know black belts who don't know certain submissions. Like they don't even know how to do a darts choke. Uh, not that that's about, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm saying like, just as, a, as an example of somebody can be really good at grappling and like, they just don't use certain things, but because their level of depth is so immense in certain things, they're still incredibly effective. So like, I hope I'm never presenting myself as the person who has all the answers, but uh, you know I'm decent at the knee cuts. So I'm going to try to give you a few details on it. So we managed to twist our partner over, and we started, or we kind of ended up here. And this is it's important that we end up here. So like basically, I don't want to get up too high here because he may be able to shove me into the half guard, or he may be able to take this arm and pull me into the deep half guard. Like if I come all the way up to here, then this sort of thing may happen. So there's a couple of reasons that I want to stop a little bit early. So I'm on my hip when I take him over, and as I find this underhook, when I come up, I'm driving my knee towards the mat, and I don't want to be trying to go forward, because anyone who's like good is either going to be bumping me or clamping super hard. So like me trying to pull out, like I'm just giving him unnecessary momentum that he may use to like resweep me or put me into more of a guard. I don't want to put my hip too far over because then I'm giving him my center of gravity. He may be able to re-sweep me to the other side. So my hip can start to come towards him, but it can't cross his center line. My knee is going to go diagonally backwards <laughs> this way to try to sweep his leg out of the way, but also to create an angle, like hold on tight and bite my ankle. I want to try to create an angle where the edge of my foot can slip through. So I'm pointing my toes. I don't know where I got this. Someone calls this ball ballerina toes. And then the opposite is porn toes. So I want to go ballerina toes, not porn toes, because porn toes hook, ballerina toes can slip through this gap. You may not be able to slip through it entirely. So if I get through to here and I point my toes and I still feel like I'm running into something, I can start pushing his legs off. And there's some debate about whether you push the bottom leg off or the top leg off. I usually try to push the top leg off, but it's kind of whatever works for you. So again, my knee goes back to open this gap up, and then I can just kind of drag my foot through. But if I'm not able to drag my foot through by pointing my toes, I push gently. This is another important detail. As with a lot of details on this stuff, I got this from Ryan Hall. Don't start kicking like crazy because you may create, again, too much momentum going back this way and get taken over. My shoulder stays just like right at his neck. I don't want to go way up here because now I'm, not, I'm really not crushing him properly. He can move around. <laughs> like he can recover. So I just keep my shoulder at the line of his shoulders, and I'm trying to pull this elbow open, because if he sucks this elbow underneath, he can create more problems with framing or trying to build his base up, do all this kind of crap going up the back. So, keep this here. My hip can be down. I've dragged this back. A little gentle push. And again, I'm pulling up on this and my shoulder's projecting a little bit under his jaw. I walk him back the other way. So again, like the tendency is to be like, yeah, yeah, I got the pass, I'm here. Now maybe he bridges, maybe he gets his knee in. But if I just walk my hip back towards his hip and tilt him the other way, he's pointing in the wrong direction. Now he's not going to be able to bridge effectively. And I can kind of settle down into the pass. Any questions on that? So like, again, you don't have to go crazy with all those details, but just add what will help you and just go through it so that you're actually properly knee cutting at the end of it. Make sure you're down like this so that your knee can protrude. When people rush this, especially if your knee is in, if you build up to here, that's it, you're trapped. Your knee is all the way in the half guard. So our goal is to land either in the shallow or to take it out before we try to come up. And having our hip down will create that angle. Even if my, uh, my other leg was underneath him like this, I still want to try to have this knee out. All right, so don't rush to get on top. If I've got this elbow, 
and I'm here, we're good. He's not getting back up. Right? I'm not worried because for him to get back up, he needs to pull this elbow underneath him. That's his base arm. Right? That, that's, that's a prerequisite. There's no way you can get up and let that happen. So as long as I'm here and my elbow is behind me, so I don't want to wrap up like this. Because now it is a bit of a battle. If you bridge now, yeah, you may be over here, back on top, and that would suck. So my elbow is behind me. My head is here, and this is what I want. Once I get here, I'm, I'm definitely going to win the exchange. Like, I can get up, he can't get up. I can turn my knee diagonally outwards, left footed base, head and shoulder, head tight by my partner's head. I'm actually using my head to break his posture. That's going to be a little bit more helpful when finishing the pass. Any little alignment breaks you can add to a movement are going to help you finish against a good point. Let's get back to work, guys.